Greetings folks, it's time to see if the Atomarsi swordfish is going to live up to its looks. There are a few things I'm concerned about. Uh, it's kind of a, a flat looking V-tail. Will it have enough uh, yaw stability? With the plane they included these little uh, wing fences or tail fences or whatever they are and they sort of stick underneath the V-tail like that, that's the idea. Uh, to add a bit more yaw stability so that's uh, sort of suggesting that they've realized that it doesn't have enough yaw stability as it is but these as you can see my flying field it's way too rough for these to survive any landing so if we do need to add them i think i might sort of chop them in half like about that that short uh, so that they don't grab on the grass and they will have some effect so we'll we'll see whether we need that or not has an f405 flight control board uh, pre-fitted and pre-tuned. I did have to do uh, a little bit of tweaking in iNav Configurator to set it up the way I want it. I'll do a separate video about the uh, iNav setup because uh, that's sort of a subject by itself. So yeah, another concern is uh, how that flight control board performed. Very, very, I'm very used to Matek flight control boards. This is an Atom RC flight control board, so uh, not exactly the same. I have 4S18650 in there and that balances it very nicely. Uh, current draw is an issue whenever you're using 18650s you don't want the current draw to consistently be over 10 amps so uh, we'll see what it takes uh, current wise to fly this anyway it's time to test all these things out and take it for a fly see the 18650 fits right in the middle of the battery bay to balance it um, 4s lipo the 3500 fills the bay but makes it nose heavy um, so you would have to add uh, tail weight if you're going to use that battery. So it's sort of designed for lighter batteries. All right, going to do a line of sight tight flight first. I would never launch into a auto launch iNav flight without first making sure the thing's going to fly. We have enough satellites. I think we're going to have bucket loads of power. Okay, time to go. Easy take off. Flying beautifully. There's a little bit of a tail wiggle there. This is flying very, very nicely at uh, a third throttle, I think that is, or half throttle now. very stable that's in acro you probably can't see it <laughs> okay this is flying very nicely angle mode it's flying well this is manual mode very agile it, yeah it sort of drifts the tail out a little bit um, so maybe those wing fences would calm that down a little bit. Back into acro. So, so far flying very nicely. Try a cruise mode. cruise mode. I dropped the throttle back in cruise mode because I thought it was going to have bucket loads of power and just wouldn't need half throttle. Return to launch. Return to launch. Seems to be doing what it's supposed to do. So initial impressions are, it's very nice, maybe could use those wing fences. Very quiet, keen to see what the current draw is. So that's going pretty well. That's just circling around nicely.
Let's fire up the FPB. Booting around home, we're on two amps. Oh, okay, brilliant. It can cruise around nice and slowly. Very stable. A little bit of in interference there. I'm sure I can improve that. No, uh, ice. Angle mode. Angle mode. That's going nicely. Angle mode. Angle mode. Return, Return to, to launch. launch. Only going up to. Oh, this is very efficient. All right, this is looking like it's going to be a ripper. Very low current draw. Is that right? <laughs> and we'll sort these things out later on. I might even uh, reload, reflash the uh, flight controller so we've got sort of total control over uh, all the settings. But it, it's it's looking very nice indeed at the moment. Return to Return launch. To launch. RSSI low. Boy, I may have my um, <laughs> cruise throttle a little low, maybe. Only under under Man two amps. So yeah, no problems at all with 18650s. That's absolutely perfect for them. I was thinking it was going to be way overpowered, but it just seems to be very nice, actually. Nice and efficient. Would be a lot better with uh, HD FPV on there, which I will do, and it is uh, sort of set up for that. So quiet, I can't even hear where it is. There is it. There it is. Okay. <coughs> so far, I'm liking this a lot. This is my kind of plane. Smooth. Oh, that is lovely. I might bring it into land. Why would I do that? Put a camera on it, I think. That's what we need to do. Wow, that is very nice. Best of the twins, I think. Very efficient. Chop the throttle, glide it in. Nice glide. Yeah, lovely. Throttle disabled. So, most impressive. Very, very quiet. Uh, I was cruising around nice and slowly and there was no sign of uh, tip stall tendency. It's uh, sort of like a very efficient glider feel to it really. Possibly would benefit from those little wing fences but I'm not going to do them full. Telemetry lost. I'm not going to do them recovered. I'm not going to do them full length. I'm going to cut them off. Uh, didn't seem to be waggling too much really. Uh, it's just in the turns it sort of wiggled a bit uh, before it recovered its directional stability. All right, so I'll put a camera on uh, and we'll get a bit, bit of a, a better idea of uh, smoothness in flight. And the FPV setup isn't all that good. It's, a, it's the one that came with it. Um, Fox Ear Toothless Nano Camera. Um, just might just be set up, but I'm sure I can do a better job of that. Okay, camera on board. Let's go again. It'll be a bit nose heavy, maybe. Throttle active. 
oh gee just uh, just leaps out of your hand really fantastic yeah it's very nice plane very nice smooth and very efficient which is exactly what it looks like It's very agile the way it's set up. Could be toned down a little bit, I think. It doesn't need to be that agile in stabilised modes. I uh, compare all my FPV planes to the Mini Talon because that is an amazingly efficient uh, FPV craft and this is even more efficient easily more efficient nice drone to the motors acrobatic too look at that wow this is a an all-rounder <laughs> this is an amazing design Oh yeah, look at that. I think it's that long, that high aspect ratio wing and big V-tail surfaces. Oh, careful. Oh, this is a performer. The swept forward V-tail, maybe that's having a big effect on it. They sort of grip the air. Anything that's swept forward grips the air even, even better in turn. So. This is looking very nice. All right, coming for a landing again. It's kind of a difficult spot to land here because it slopes down towards me. So you slow down, but it keeps gliding in. But that's really it's floating in slowly, gliding in really, and it just behaves beautifully. I only need a third throttle to take off. So it's a nice plane to fly. It'd be a good sloper too, I'm sure. I'm gonna to have to try this on the slope. Nice plane to fly by itself, as well as an INAV controlled FPV plane. And all of my concerns are not a problem at all. I think the V-tail is big enough, could be improved a little bit, maybe, maybe, but uh, you know, not something to worry about really. Current draw is perfect for 18650s, it's, uh, uh, haven't got anywhere near 10 amps yet. I haven't gone full, full bore, but I'm not going to anyway. No tip stall, tip stall tendency, so the wing design is excellent. Really slick overall shape. Let's glide it past. How cool is that? Oh man, this is a ripper. This is best plane I've flown for a while, best FPV powered plane anyway. It's going to be really well suited to uh, long flights down the coast I think. Okay I'm going to have to put a DJI HD on it. Okay bring it in again, glide it in from up there Fantastic. So this is a brilliant plane. Uh, I have no hesitation at all. I think it's a total success. Everything about it I love. The uh, high spec ratio wings means it's going to be a great glider on the slope as well. Super uh, quiet 
really unique swept forward V-tail. I've never seen that before, but it seems to work beautifully. Um, I think I will put the little wing fences in just to see what the difference is. Super efficient and it can cruise around under two amps. I do not have another plane this size that can do that. The uh, Mini Talon cruises around on three, four amps, which is pretty good because you can stack it up with batteries, but uh, you know, half the size of the batteries, uh, half the current draw, this, this plane would fly for the same amount of time. So super impressive Adam RC. This from my first maiden flight, uh, it's going to be one of my favourite planes. I think definitely uh, a choice for medium long range FPV, even just for fun flying, even for sloping. Great stuff. I really really like it. And in the next video, I'll go over, over the uh, INAV and uh, FPV features and uh, show you how I set it up. There were a few little changes I had to make. Uh, I had to reverse the rudder, although the rudder effect on these V-tails, especially a flat V-tail, is almost insignificant. So rudders could be reversed and it really wouldn't matter. Great stuff. Thanks for watching.